Grab another Wrath, which is interesting. Passage, that's so good. We should actually play from our hands, so we get the extra damage on the side here. Oh yeah, that's gotta be lethal. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to watch Hello Good Game. Today, I have a deck that goes against everything you guys know. We are talking about a best of one deck with 30 land within it. Typically, in a best of one deck, you might run 22 land, 20 land. We have a very light aggro curb as well. Our highest drops are for four, so it's not a mid-range deck or a control deck at all. There's no heavy drops. It is all aggro based. So, you know, you may ask yourself, well, how do these two uh, incoherent functions work together? Well, it's due to Nahiri's Lithoforming, a sorcery spell in which we can sacrifice X lands for each land sacrifice. You draw a card, you may play X edition. This land control enter the battlefield tapped this turn so you know we're flooding the field with multiple lands and we sacrifice a bunch of them draw a whole bunch more from our library and flood the field with those as well and you may ask yourself well why do we need to be playing all of these lands what do we get from that well we also have valakut exploration and enchantment with landfall and whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card for as long as it remains exiled. And at the beginning of your end step, if there are cards exiled with Valakut Exploration, put those cards into the owner's graveyard. And then the exploration will deal damage equal to the amount of cards put into the graveyard to each opponent this way. So that's really, really fun. We're also taking advantage of the multiple land drops through Felidar Retreat. This is another enchantment with landfall, and whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. Either create a 2-2 white cat beast creature token, or put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Those creatures gain vigilance until the end of turn. This is really cool, right? The rest of the deck really just revolves around filling your hand uh, with land, placing it into the battlefield, and then of course cycling a little bit if we need. Um, because there are so many lands in the field, we want to cycle sometimes. And this comes into play within Fire Prophecy, an instant for two. Fire Prophecy deals three damage to target creature. You may put that card from your hand into the bottom of the library if you do draw a card. So we talked about the deck having 30 lands. You know, don't worry about having too many lands because you can always use not only Nahiri's Lithoforming to sacrifice a bunch of lands to get new draws, but you can also use Fire Prophecy to remove your opponent's creature plus tossing one of your lands that you have to the bottom and you know trying to pull a non-land if that's the scenario that you're looking for maybe you don't have lands and you can put a permanent into the bottom and try to pull a land right so this will just help you cycle through your deck at an expedited rate while helping you control the field speaking of controlling the field we also have storm's wrath so fire prophecy deals three damage storm's wrath will deal four damage to each creature and each planeswalker so this is just a nice cleanup and it should help you stay alive one of our first objectives with the retreat is to get a couple two two cats out and then start putting plus one plus ones on them to get them to five fives so they'll survive our storm's wrath it gets better than that though we also have our lithoform engine this is an absolute sleeper within the meta and fits perfectly within the naya landfall deck we can pay to tap it copy target activated or triggered ability you control this is uh you know any of our landfall triggers uh so we can copy our retreat for two make uh double cats we can you know copy our exploration to double exile for uh more draw so that's pretty cool right but it gets even better than that for three copy target instant or sorcery spell you control you may choose new targets for the copy so we get into our instances and sorceries well we have storm's wrath for four we can copy it for a total of seven to deal eight damage to everything woof Right? And then, of course, we also have things like Cultivate and our rolling, Roiling Regrowth uh, to help us flood the field with even more land and to help trigger those landfall effects again. You know, you could go in with a Nahiri's Lithoforming. That's awkward, though. How many lands could you possibly sacrifice, right? And then, of course, you can even double your Fire Prophecy for six damage to a six target. So uh, a lot of things become possible through the Lithoform engine that wouldn't typically be uh, possible within the deck. 
with that being said that is the entire deck list you guys uh once you do get all those lands in play use your Nahir nahiri's lithoforming and you just make all those two twos uh five five six six seven seven with the retreat right so easy peasy lemon squeezy we do have four fatal passages four evolving wilds now you can use these right out of the gate to make sure that you have the correct colors you can also use your fire prophecy to push them back to the bottom of your library so you can replay them later at a more relevant time once you have things like your retreat and your exploration in play right if you're cracking these before the exploration and retreat are in play you are missing out on a little bit of the value yes you still might have to do it to survive but just take note that if you want to play it as its maximum you do want to put these to the bottom of your library and utilize them a little bit later there's no sideboard today as we are playing best of one and uh, you know this deck is so much fun people are sleeping on lithoform engine and here he's lithoforming as far as i'm concerned uh you know Felidar Retreat is amazing. The Exploration is also amazing. So this is a really simple deck that I'm surprised no one's really come up with yet. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share to a friend. Hit that bell icon so you're notified of all of our future uploads. Don't miss out on our 500,000 gem giveaway and free cash prize monthly tournaments. Check out the Discord for more information on that. Today we are using our Magic the Gathering Arena Assistant available to everyone for free within the Overwolf link in the description below. Give it a download and then you'll have access to it. Metagame analysis, deck videos, deck write-ups, uh, everything you could possibly want uh, and more collection stats. It would take me hours to go through all that. So with that all being said, if you can afford to support financially, I encourage you to do so on Twitch, Patreon, YouTube, and our newly incorporated Amazon link. Make sure to do all your shopping through that to support your boy. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate your time and attention. I hope you guys all have a magical day. Enjoy the gameplay footage. Don't forget to watch the end so you don't miss out. Once in a lifetime news. Take care. All right. Uh, looks good. I mean, we do have our turn three, turn four. And, of course, cultivate on potentially turn five litho forming turn six we're getting ahead of ourselves let's play it slow oof oof you know i was thinking about some earlier two drops but what do you do let's just try to find a storm's wrath Ooh. Interesting. Definitely looking for a wrath. Even this uh, does really nicely for us. At instant speed as well. Let's uh, test our luck. Play it a little slow. See if we can find a wrath. Spell Prophet ramps. Looking for our Storm's Wrath. Come on. Maybe we can find it here. If not, we can retreat. Negative. First retreats in. Second goes in. Next turn, we deal one damage. Getting hit for a minimum of five here, though. That's not good. Down to 12. Potentially lower. Hmm. Okay. So... The three leaves, but the three comes back with the plus. Right, so we still get hit for five. Plus, they grabbed a planeswalker. If only it was a passage. You know what I mean? Starting to set up, but our opponent has a very good field state, and if we don't find that Storm's Wrath, it's going to be risky biscuits. Okay, just some removal. That's okay. That plus three, plus three tramples annoying. That's for sure. Oh, straight up Heartless Act. And we still get hit for five. Oh, we need Storm's Wrath. So bad. At least we can, uh... Thank you. That's 
Garrick stays alive. It can kill itself to make a 3-3. Oh my gosh. Loosh. Watch them play land. Oh. Still gonna get hit 6 here. That's really good. Really, really good. Whew. All right, the passage is really, really good too. I don't think there's any way to make this work. We can kill the Garrick. Should have done that in the other order. Uh, um, you know, do we go in with another cultivate with a huge field or probably? We'll get this one right. We should have made another cat last time too. We do it in the reverse order this time, which actually works. They have direct damage? What's going on here? Can they wipe the field and then do the Nyssa Garrick shenanigans? It does untap it. So they could, uh, you know, use an extinction event, untap a land, and then uh, hit us with that. Oh, Kranos, okay. We're okay there. One life is all you need to win a game of Magic the Gathering. It was a close one. It was indeed a close one. We have a Lithoforming that we can absolutely go psycho with. That'll be a lot of fun. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. We just go super big. Let's leave two mana open. We have nine, so that means we can cast it for five. We have another Wrath, which is interesting. Passage, that's so good. We should actually play from our hands, so we get the extra damage on the side here. Oh, yeah, that's gotta be lethal. I absolutely love this hand. This is a snap keep for me. We have our wiper against the crazy amount of aggro decks. 
We have a cultivate on turn three, or probably four. Just a lot of options, right? Simic, that's kind of awkward. An engine, that's fun. They're in with a giant. I don't really mind that. Flying. Let's use our exploration. Got another cultivate. Passage. Things are looking pretty good. Lithoform engine. I might try to sneak in. And then we can start copying these. Cobra. Okay. And three. They play four, five. I don't think they'll get it. We have to play that. Such a good draw. Typically, they'll discard those cards for the damage, but... Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're good, right? They're up to five here, and that's frightening. It could be a, um... Terror of the Peaks, you know what I mean? Different. Just really good. That's really good. We have four. Man, we're gonna get hammered next turn though, that's the thing if we don't wipe. Maybe we leave our engine to the side right now, but just because things are so crazy already. We're in five. Can't Storm's Wrath double down until seven. We need these two twos to bulk up. Let's take them to four. We get three damage in still, which is decent. Like that's a that's a number. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Good play. Good play. No blocks. Big ouchies. Big ouchies, baby. So instead of doubling down, we can't do because it it's not in play. We just have to push this thing up. Close Storm's Wrath. Great. Just toss it out. Cleans up the majority of the field. We can go to three. We can also start making the twos again. And, um... We have to attack, don't we? Or that's next turn. No attacks. Let's try to defend. Shadow Spear is real good. We're still going to double block to deal with it, but that life gain's nice. They're just going to use it defensively. That's good, too. Shadow 
should just be able to bust everything. Force them to block, right? We'll have to lithoform on our end step, I think, to get blockers. We should have cultivated after the attack. They're getting hit with 9, 12. That, yeah, they have to block. They gain a bunch of life from that, though. Let's see if we pick up. We can play those later. We can also just Storm's Wrath, potentially. Big hit. I think we would have had lethal. Um, but now we come into the decision. Uh, that is kind of hard, but I still think we go for it. It's just Wrathing the Serpent down. We lose our other little baby body, but whatever. And we still deal two damage in. And we're left with a 7-7, seven, seven, so... We don't mind that. Oh! Jesus! You gotta be kidding me. There's so much mana. Cast us for nine. Just honestly insane. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna make a couple cats here. You can go in. Careful not to mill ourselves here. We're not even using crabs, baby! It's a no-crab mill. The last resort. Going crazy with the lithoform combo. It's so good. I love it. It's rewarding. Kind of organic. It's missing a little bit of life gain, maybe, but... Look at this land just slowly fall into play. That is fun. It's like, you know, when you throw the bed sheets up real good and they grab the air pressure below them and it, like, just slows its decline or descent, whatever. I <laughs> Network error. You would do this to us, wouldn't you? Right when we're getting good footage, finally. Hashtag arena life. Let's reconnect here. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. It's been a while since we had real connection issues. Okay, we're going to close the game. We're going to open it back up. Just so you guys see how I deal with it uh, day to day. See my disgusting desktop here. Trying to get back into the game. You can do it. And then hopefully we haven't missed our whole turn. Right? The hardest part is realizing you've been disconnected, and thankfully, uh, you know, we might have a new indicator with that, that slow landfall. <laughs> Brings a whole new meaning to the, the word landfall, right? Sorry, zombie guy 87, we're back. I'm not roping. I am here. Go land! We have to play really quick now. Yep. Um, 
We have car I don't even know. Let's just play regular land. Okay. Um, we may as well go for it. Oh! Oh! I didn't even expect that. I thought we were gonna. <laughs> Ayo, River! Keeping seven. We should be 100% safe here. We'll pull our planes first. Fire Prophecy's up. Next. Our opponents go. Hopefully they play a creature. They do. We can snag that. Uh, I think declining this. There's nothing to throw away. Typically we get rid of our passages and wilds if we need. Let's cultivate. That allows us to retreat with the land on top of it. Art of Keld is good. Let's just take it. Again, not throwing anything. We like our hand. Play the land they've seen. The Keld can allow them to play from their library, which is really good. We need to mitigate that up to three there's another creature they're gonna clean up with a wrath trying to keep things relatively tame Nice. We can push it up to three. Even that tiny bit of value, right? For a wasted shot. We get our cats above four, and Storm's Wrath is fine. Keeping the passage in play in case there is more shocks. Ooh. Nice. There's nothing we can do against that. Well, this is fun. Perfect time to draw it as well. And here he's lithoforming is the ultimate late game draw. We have nine, we can cast it for seven. Maybe we'll cast it for five, just so we don't lose all of our land. One, two, three, four, five. Get what we organically do. There could be a that we didn't play around, but whatever. That's fine. I think we can make this work. I mean, we are missing our Valakut, which is a pretty big part of uh, 
everything considering it's our draw engine. But, I mean, if we can always just curve into a cultivate, use retreat, regrowth after that, that's fine. Uh, we will wilds immediately for the mountain, activating our turn 2 fire prophecy. Yep, definitely. We'll do that on there. And step withholding as much information for as long as we possibly can, right? There's no need to let them know what colors we are, right? Because the scry is dependent upon that information, and if they have no information to base that decision upon, that's better for us. Now, typically, uh, you know, that's where a player improves their skill is by playing... Same decks, probably the same way, just on the appropriate phases. And we're looking for that red source, we said. That activates our Fire Prophecy for removal. We're playing against Shrines, so there's no creatures. Um, that's fine. Let's get right in with the Cultivate. We want to uh, probably copy... For three, our regrowth for six, potentially. Hmm. We may need to worry about that giant, I guess. No way we hit that, though. We have a second red source. We know we have a cleave. So our retreat goes in. Tutor. Probably for Sanctium of Fangs. Oh no, they go for Sanctium of All. You dog. They have... Every lands but their red source. Probably an appropriate time to play our wilds. Then we can do the other on their end step again. Just so the 2 2's not in state for the removal. Oh, here's Sanctium of All. Very gross. Doesn't matter what we take. Lithoform. Playing it slower than I'd like. It is what it is. And we can copy that ability with our engine. Make an additional 2 2. then we have six in play we can drop our regrowth for three and copy it with our lithoform engine for three very good value within the engine i mean shrines are great too though we don't get after this they're gonna get after us you know what i mean <laughs> so hopefully we can avoid a field wipe here that's gonna be a key component to us winning Banks hurts right that's not good Shrines are great in best of one. Best of three, I think it's an easy sideboard. Right? A couple gem razors, wilts, um, Eloid intervention. So, we have four. Um, I think we just have lethal here, don't we? Nice. So that's actually pretty annoying.
We're still going for it. I think we have it. Too many lads, baby. We get close. All right, if they wouldn't have tapped us, we would have had it. Woo! They have to wipe our board. So close. So close. We're gonna gain a bunch of life here. We're gonna lose a bunch of life. They draw a ton of cards. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, I don't think it could have been closer than that. They might get us, right? Easy to wipe the field, and then we're kind of dead in the water, and they have more value re reoccurring than us. They pacify one, and they're still going to be able to... Just tap all of our creatures. We should have went wide is what we should have done. We were too greedy. Right, and then they're going to tap the others. They're just going for it. Nice. I guess maybe we should have went wide there. I thought we could maybe get him. I should have done the math a little bit better. That's crazy. They have a land to play and another shrine to discard? No way. That's a nice turnaround, baby. Let's copy with our engine, the retreat. Og. Going wide this time, man. I had enough of your shenanigans. Oh, they're going to draw so many cards, though. Everything doubles up. Take 12 damage here. Draw 12 cards. It's a big draw, man. And Shrines prevails yet again. Just barely. Uh, due to the misplay uh, of ours there by trying to stack up and finish them when we should have just went super, super wide. Right? We were worried about, uh, you know, our Storm's Wrath coming back to beat us on their end. I think that's a card they run, but... Just, it hurt. It hurt. Now we'll have no attacks because they've got unlimited resources again. Big ouchies. Alright, we got a draw. We can deal a bunch of damage. Oh, they're going to take our engine. Okay, leaving our, our engine. I like that. Mm. They went for one. That means they're going to go for all three. Unless they're on stream listening to us because they just took the engine the second time, which is, they wouldn't have done that. LOL. Welcome to the stream, bro. You dog. Just kidding. Maybe not, but that was, uh, you gotta admit, that's suspect. Right? Shouldn't have played the land yet. We just die anyways. Ah! Ah! Alrighty, that worked out perfectly. Hopefully we can work in our Lithoform engine. Uh, it's cool for a couple reasons. We can copy our permanents. We can just straight up uh, 
copy our triggers, which is cool as well. And most importantly, our instances of sorceries, which is just devastating. So, you know, we've seen the deck win without it. Let's try to win with it. Mono red could be aggressive. We might want to look for Storm's Wrath. Check. We have a Cultivate next turn. The cool thing about our Lithoform engine is that you can, uh, for three, copy it. So seven total to deal eight damage to everything. We pulled our second red source, so it doesn't matter. Ah, let's see. Gonna be a big hit here, but whatever. They're not playing anything else. That's frightening. Okay, this is better. Clean that up. Shock. Fine. Two shocks? Stop it. Phoenix of Ash with flying. That's really good. How are we going to race them here? I have no idea. I think they just have us. Oh, they definitely have us now. We need another Wrath off the top. We're not going to get it. We're just dead next turn. We can go as big as we can. I don't think it's going to get us there. We have six left. Not gonna work. Where's the reach on these things? Game. Can't win them all, ladies and gentlemen. Last match, hand looks good. Turn three, turn four, and turn five. So, I want to use this right now, just so we are playing safe for sure. There's other Evolving Wilds and Passages in the deck, it's fine. We will take a Plains here. Oh, we draw one, of course we do. Then we have our exploration in play next turn with a forest. Cobra, that's disgusting. We could have saved uh, the wilds for double crack, but whatever. Felidar retreat in play next turn with a mountain. Gross, they're dropping for four. They use it, nice. They also gain two more land here to use. Will they? No, okay. God damn it. Take a look, see what we get. Land. Take the Cobra out. Toss the planes back. Okay, that's nice. We need Storm's Wrath and like, probably Ugin Defense. This is four colors so far. Are you serious? Immediately into a Kenrith? That's so good. Kenneth 
avoids our removal as well. So we're just in straight trouble. Too much. Kenrith is a beast. Right? Is that planeswalker a creature? What's going on there? Right? Grapple and haste for one. They should definitely just attack with Trample. No blocks, let's just take it. We're gonna have to go wide on them or something. Right, triple blocks. I wish. We're doing our best just to hold on. I don't know if we're gonna make it, is the thing. <laughs> right? They have four mana up. They can uh, gain five life, put a counter on it. They can put another counter on it. Nice! With the trample, so we're not gonna... Ugh. Gross. Anerith, hauling him home. Need single target removal for that. Good game. We'll try one more. Oh, it's not a good ending for me. <laughs> Alright, so the deck is a little janky. Let's be honest. We know this. The tiered decks are dialed in at this point within the meta, but this is good. This is as good as a deck as you could possibly create every single day. You know what I mean? Um, I wish there was more removal. I wish we had eight Storm Wraths and uh, just full Shatter, maybe some black. Maybe we can make it Jund Landfall. I don't know. Um, it's a little bit weak against certain things, right? We've seen that Kenrith absolutely dominate us. Uh, stuff like that, right? So it's great. It's fun. I love it. Drawing 10, 15 cards with Lithoforming is amazing. You know, super entertaining. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it to a friend. Hit that bell icon so you're notified of all of our future uploads. Join the gem giveaway, free cash prize, monthly tournaments. 500,000 gems if you missed out on that when we open it up. Make sure to download the Overwolf MTGA Arena Assistant. Hello. Uh, yeah. Take care. Have a great day. Go enjoy yourselves another video of mine. And we'll see you soon. Peace.